All right, let's go in and build a Google Form. Go to Google and Google Google Forms. Bring you to this first result. Click on Go to Google Forms. It will be brought to your Google Drive for Google Forms. And as I had showed previously in the PowerPoint up at the top, they have a whole template gallery of you to choose from, um, and you can adjust those as needed. And below that are all the different kinds of forms that I've used in the past. So today we're going to just start with a blank form. We're going to give it a title up here in the upper left. I'm just going to name it Sonia Test. And that's what you'll see on the back end as the editor. What the person taking the form, you might want to uh, name that something different. If you need to, you can certainly do that. But we're going to start with um, an untitled question. It defaults to multiple choice, but I want to start with short answer which we uh, typically see is for like name or email address, something that people can quickly fill out. Note here in the lower right, there's an option to make the, uh, the question required, and you can just use the slider if you choose to make that required. And so um, if you do make that required, people cannot go on to the next question before they answer this question here. So let's try and do another question type, and we'll just go to this little circle with a plus sign in it. This time let's try paragraph answer and again typically you see this if they want to elaborate um, on a previous question. And I know this isn't really making sense what I'm typing in here but for purposes of a quick training I hope it does. We can add another question. This time we'll try that multiple choice. And note that if you have a long list of choices for people to uh, choose from Let's say it's like, uh, what county are you representing in North Dakota? We've done that on the drought form. You don't have to go in and input every single county. What you can do is if you have a list online somewhere, uh, whether it's in a Word document or even online, what I've done here is I've copied um, all the North Dakota county names into a Word document. I'm just going to copy that, go back to my form, and I'm going to paste it all in right here and you'll see all those counties got in without me having to input each and every one of them. So that's just a nice little tip to know right there in case you have a lot of responses you want people to be able to choose from. Alright, and we can go with the next option of adding a question. I'm going to page down here since that was a long one. This time <coughs> Yeah, we'll do check boxes, which again, check boxes, uh, they can choose more than one answer. So let's just make up some question. Um, which state have you and here's where you can click for option one. Um, just do a few more out here. All right, and notice too at the bottom you have this option to add other um, in case you think you need to leave that field open. In this case, we don't need a field open for that. Let's try another question type. <coughs> Page down here a little bit. Let's just try the date one here. And we'll just say, which date did you attend? Again, these are all bogus questions that probably don't make any sense. So we've um, added a few question types. Now we can make it our own. Right now it defaults to purple. And if we click on this little color palette icon up here, you have many cho uh, colors to choose from. If you click on the image icon, they have a bunch of themes you can choose from, um, all kinds of pictures to make it your own. If you wanted to, you could upload your own, like y the logo, you could upload that from your computer as well. I'm just going to pick some random picture here and you'll see that it add, adds it as a header up here too. So now that we can see what it looks like on the back end, um, it's kind of nice to know what the person who will be filling out the form, what it looks like to them. So what you can choose is this little eyeball here which is preview and this is what people will actually see. And go ahead and review it and it kind of gives you a feel to what that person uh, will experience when they're filling out the form. So it might help you improve on it too if you see something that you don't like. So this is what our finished form looks like. And if you want to go back to edit, you can do that by clicking on on this uh, edit icon right here. Let's go ahead and fill this out real quick. Um, and notice that this first one, name, we made that required. There's a little star there. Uh, the second one we didn't. I'm just going to pick any old county here for North Dakota 
and some random questions here which aren't true in my case here's what that date field looks like when you um, when they are able to choose from that again it's all standardized so I'll just say June 2nd what's gonna happen we're gonna submit that and here's just a very ge generic thank you for filling this out next we'll move on to some options that show you what the data looks like on the back end once people start filling out your form